Mission Liner Southwest, 15 miles to 2000. We are under attack. That's why we made this. Our government has been spraying us like bugs using aluminum, barium, strontium, and other aerosols in order to control the climate. There are many reasons why this would be so, including weather control and for military supremacy. Think, Think about, about it. it. What is really scary, though, is how slow adults are waking up to the fact that we are being poisoned by the powers that be. Look at these jets. If contrails start and stop like this, then the engine would be failing and the jet would fall. Jet trails should be consistent and dissipate very quickly, not stopping and starting. They should not huff and puff, resembling a paint sprayer. The trail should be dull and consistent. Satellite and radar should not contain plane trails in ridiculous places, making patterns that turn to cloud cover. We are not exaggerating when we say that life itself depends on adults doing some basic, easy research about aerosol geoengineering and joining forces with the growing movement to protect our planet from decision makers that have left you and I out of the conversation. So here's how you do the research. For starters, observe the skies above you. I think we can all agree that we can hear jets when they fly over. So why is it that on some days there are lines all over the sky and jet sounds and other days there are no lines and no jet sounds? Why is it that during a storm we can hear the jets non-stop, completely opposite the sounds of a clear day? Commercial jet traffic should be nearly the same day to day. These are the things that are easy to keep track of, making you a researcher. The other thing is to pick out a jet leaving a trail in the sky and observe the trail over the next four or five hours. And observe the expansion and how the trail interacts with other trails. Twenty-five years ago, a person would have to argue that there would be no trails after four or five hours, but watch and observe. A second area to research is online satellite and radar to the west of you. Even out over the ocean, observe how jet trails in those images spread out like haze by the time those trails are overhead. Notice how the sky turns from blue to dull, gray, or even silver. What happened to our blue skies? This is easy to observe, but it does take a commitment to learning the truth. You can compare sky color, sounds, and jet trail activity day to day to see what should be consistent. Scheduled jet traffic and routes is not what is happening. The third area of research is patents. There are over 100 geoengineering patents, many of which disperse aerosol from jets. These patents exactly describe the expanding and lingering jet trails that we see in this video. These patents exactly describe the metals everyday people, concerned citizens, are finding in rainwater tests. All of these patents can be found online in multiple places. Next research is to test your rainwater. It's easy, inexpensive, and instructions are online. What we are saying isn't crazy. Scientists say they want to build reflective clouds in exactly this way, a process known as geoengineering, specifically stratospheric aerosol geoengineering. Arctic scientists monitoring ice melt and methane have declared a planetary emergency. They are saying an intense full-scale stratospheric aerosol geoengineering campaign is needed immediately to avert a total sea ice melt that could occur as early as summer 2013. They say that the world must do this immediately. The point is that it is already being done, and look what that is doing to our weather. Soil pH, ocean pH, rainwater, and the unexplained rise in all aluminum-related and suspected-related diseases. The rainwater tests prove there are dangerous amounts of metals in each breath we take. This is not rocket science! So far, man's intellectual control of our planet has fueled what scientists are calling the sixth great extinction. With species being lost 10,000 times faster than ever seen in the past, including meteor events. What we see in our skies is that thinking. Can we afford our leaders and those who control them to be insane? Who has the right to make us a part of their experiment? We are under attack! Wake up!